Hi, my name is Takuzo Ganre. I am a former A-level student and I graduated high school with straight A stars and I'm here to help you do the same. Or if not, just to make A-level maths a little less challenging for you. So in this video, we'll be learning how to solve trig equations. And the syllabus point that we'll focus on states that you should be able to find all the solutions of simple trigonometrical equations lying in a specified interval. So to solve trig equations, first you have to reduce them to be in terms of one trig function. And once you have achieved that, use one of the following formulae to solve the trig equation. So when we're dealing with the trig equation in terms of sine x, we use the formula PV times minus one to the power n plus 180n. This is when we're in degrees. And if we're in radians, it becomes PV times minus one to the power n plus pi n. This is for radians and PV represents the principal value and n is an integer. And we'll look at this formula in more detail when we're solving the example questions. For cos x, we use the formula plus or minus PV plus 360N in degrees and plus or minus PV plus 2 pi N in radians. And for tan X, we use the formula PV plus 180N in degrees and PV plus pi N in radians. Now let's apply these formulae to some past paper questions. So number one, solve by factorizing the equation 6 cos theta tan theta minus 3 cos theta plus 4 tan theta minus 2 equals 0. So in this case, the first step would be to factorize by grouping. Note that they have clearly stated that they would like us to solve this trig equation by factorization, so we have to factorize. So in this case, the method of factorization we use is called factorizing by grouping. So that means you factorize the first two terms together and then you factorize the last two terms together. So if we factorize the terms in blue, we end up with 3 cos theta times 2 tan theta minus 1. Notice how 3 cos theta is common in these two terms. And for the second two terms, 4 tan theta minus 2, if we factorize them, the 2 is common. So we factor it out and we end up with 2 tan theta minus 1. And notice how 2 tan theta minus 1 is common, so you can factor it out of both groups and you end up with 3 cos theta plus 2 times 2 tan theta minus 1 equals 0. And from here you can equate each bracket to 0 and then you solve the respective equations. So if we equate 3 cos theta plus 2 to 0 and we simplify by making cos theta the subject of the formula, we end up with cos theta is equal to minus two thirds. And we end up with theta is equal to arc cos minus two thirds. So this value that you get from saying arc cos minus two thirds is what we then call our principal value. So even if we come to this side, two tan theta minus one equals zero, you make tan theta subject of the formula, you get tan theta is half. Then you make theta subject of the formula and you get theta is arctan of half. Then the value you get from your calculator here is what we call the principal value. And that's the value we we'll use in our formula to evaluate if there are any other angles within the specified interval. So for the equation in cos theta, we have PV is 131.8103149. And ensure that you use the full calculator display as your principal value so that you get accurate answers. And we say that our formula for course is plus or minus PV plus 360N. So we start with N is 1. So you evaluate the formula when N is 1. So if you substitute N with 1, your principal value here plus 360 times 1, you get 491.81. And remember that it's plus or minus. So this is the minus part, that's minus PV plus 360 times 1, and you get negative 311.81. And remember that our given interval is that theta should be between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So as you can tell that these values that we're getting here, 491.81 is not within this interval. Negative 311.81 is also not within this interval. So it means that our only solution from this trig equation 
was actually the principal value. PV is equal to 131.8103149. That would be your answer from that trig equation. And so as you can tell here, yeah, we have given it to one decimal place, that's 131.8 degrees. Then we also need to deal with the equation for tan theta. So we said for 2 tan theta minus 1 equals 0, we end up with the principal value 26.56505118. And our formula for tan theta is PV plus 180N. So we're going to evaluate first when N is 1, and this is our principal value. So you come here, you're going to substitute your principal value into your calculator, and then N is 1, you end up with 206.57. So 206.57 actually falls within this interval, and so it should also be a solution. So here we should also have 206.6 degrees. And don't forget the solution you get from your principal value. So we also have 26.565, but give it to one decimal place, so it will be 26.6. So the solutions we end up with are 26.6 degrees, 131.8 degrees, 206.6 degrees. And just something to note, if your principal value is within the specified interval, then it counts as a solution. Because if you actually go back to our formula here, if you are to substitute n is 0, you get the principal value. So if the principal value is within the specified interval, you also include it as one of the solutions. Number two, solve the equation tan theta plus two sine theta over tan theta minus two sine theta equals three for theta is between zero degrees and 180 degrees. So the first thing we do here is to get rid of this denominator and we do that by multiplying both sides by the denominator. And we end up with tan theta plus two sine theta equals three times tan theta minus two sine theta. Expand the bracket and you end up with tan theta plus two sine theta equals three tan theta minus six tan theta. Then put all the terms on one side and group like terms. And if you simplify the like terms, you end up with two tan theta minus eight sine theta is equal to zero. And now we're going to use the identity tan theta is identical to sine theta over cos theta. So that means replace tan theta with sine theta over cos theta. And that becomes 2 sine theta over cos theta minus 8 sine theta equals 0. Now notice how 2 sine theta would be common in both terms. So we can factor out 2 sine theta. And if we factor out 2 sine theta, we end up with 2 sine theta times 1 cos theta minus 4 is equal to 0. Then now we can equate each bracket to 0. So 2 sine theta equals 0 and 1 cos theta minus 4 equals 0. If you solve the equation for sine theta, you end up with a principal value of 0. If you solve the equation for cos theta, you end up with a principal value of 75.52248781. And again, we're going to use the formula. So for sine theta, our formula is PV times minus 1 to the power n plus 180n. So we're going to evaluate when n is 1. Our principal value is 0, and we're substituting n with 1. And if you do that, you get 180. Remember that our interval is theta is between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. So 180 is not within that interval. So that means from the sine theta equation, we're not getting any solutions because the principal value 0 is also not within the specified interval. And the value when n is 1, which is 180, is also not within the specified interval. So now we go back to the cos theta equation, and we know that our principal value is 75.52248781, and our formula for cos is plus or minus PV plus 360N. We're going to evaluate when N is 1. So you substitute your principal value here, and you substitute N with 1, and remember that it's plus or minus. So this is the value you get when you use minus, and this is the value you get when you use 
positive and both these values are not within the given interval so you disregard them then you also check the principal value in this case our principal value is say 5.5 degrees and that's actually within the specified interval so that means that is a solution so the only value that we got that was within range is actually theta is equal to send 5.5 degrees and that would be our final answer and something to note if an angle is in degrees you give it correct to one decimal place if it's in radians you give it correct to three significant figures now let's move on to question number three solve the equation 2 cos theta equals 7 minus 3 over cos theta for theta is between negative 90 degrees and 90 degrees so again we start off by getting rid of our denominator here so that's multiplying both sides by cos theta if you multiply 2 cos theta by cos theta you end up with 2 cos squared theta 7 times cos theta is 7 cos theta minus 3 over cos theta times cos theta is minus 3 and now put all the terms on one side you end up with 2 cos squared theta minus 7 cos theta plus 3 equals 0 and notice that this is a hidden quadratic if you're not familiar with hidden quadratics i'll link the video down below to hidden quadratics where you can learn how to solve hidden quadratics so in this case we factorize our quadratic and we end up with 2 cos theta minus 1 times cos theta minus 3 equals 0 you equate each bracket to 0 so that's 2 cos theta minus 1 equals 0 and cos theta minus 3 equals 0 and if you solve the first equation you get theta is equal to 60 and if you try to solve the second equation you get theta equals arc cos of 3 remember that the graph of cos theta if I to sketch it it ranges from 1 to negative 1 so it means that if you have the value the y value 3 it would be somewhere here and that's not within the range of this graph so it ends up resulting in no solutions so you write theta equals no solutions for this equation and now let's go back to our first equation so that means our principal value from there is equal to 60 and now we need to check if there are any other solutions within our given interval so we use the formula plus or minus pv plus 360 n so in this case we're going to check when n is equal to zero because remember we've been given the interval theta is between negative 90 and 90 degrees so we also need to check the negative value when n is zero so if you substitute your principal value 60 here and you substitute n with zero you're going to get plus or minus 60. the 60 we already knew it but we also discovered that there's another solution which is negative 60 which came from this negative sign over here so that would mean from here we've got the solutions plus or minus 60 and they are within the given interval now we also check when n is 1 if you substitute your principal value here and you substitute n with 1 you get negative 300 for the negative and for the positive you get 420 both of which are out of the given interval so that means your only solutions would be plus or minus 60 so theta is equal to negative 60 degrees or 60 degrees and that will be your final answer now let's move on to question number four solve the equation 4 over 5 cos squared theta minus 4 is equals to 5 again we have to get rid of the denominator so we're going to multiply both sides by the denominator and you get 4 is equal to 5 times 5 cos squared theta minus 4 expand this bracket you get 4 is equal to 25 cos squared theta minus 20 and if you simplify that you get cos squared theta is equal to 24 over 5 and notice that in the previous examples we've been focusing on equations where the power of course is 1 so it's simply been cos theta is equal to for example 3 but in this case we now have the power 2 so to get rid of the power 2 you use the square root sign but remember that 
every time you take the square root of anything, the resulting answer will always be plus or minus. So in this case, you get cos theta is equal to plus or minus the square root of 24 over 25. So we can split those to become cos theta is equal to negative root 24 over 25. Cos theta is equal to positive root 24 over 25. So for the negative one, we get a PV of 168.463041. And for the positive one, we get a PV of 11.5369.5905. So for this example, I forgot to write down the given interval, but the interval was theta is between zero degrees and 180 degrees. So if we now go back, these are our principal values. So we have to check whether there are more values within our specified interval, which is theta is between zero degrees and 180 degrees. Okay, so for the PV 168.463041 at n equals one, if you use the positive sign, you end up with 528.5. And when you use the negative sign, you end up with 191.5. Both of these values are outside of our given range, so we disregard them. And for the PV 11.5369.5903 at n equals 1, for the positive sign, you get 371.5. And for the negative sign, you get 348.5. Both of these values are outside of our given interval. So that means we disregard them. So that means our only values that are within the given interval are actually the principal values. So that's 11.5 degrees, which is here, and 168.5 degrees, which is here. And so our final answer would be theta is equal to 11.5 degrees and theta is equal to 168.5 degrees. So that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. You can access this PDF down below in the description. I've linked to it. And you can access more of my resources on my website, gcealevelmaths9709.com. There's also a link down below in the description.